Hi there. This is an entry to the 2021 Summer of Math Exposition event run by Grant Sanderson, in which I will be trying to explain the AMGM inequality. So this inequality, although elementary, is powerful, as it crops up numerously in maths competitions and olympiads, as it can be used to break down other complex inequalities into much more manageable expressions. When I was first learning this, it would often appear a bit confusing like this, so instead of rote learning it, I would like to derive this from a couple of simple mathematical theorems. So the arithmetic geometric mean inequality can be proven through constructing a circle, as you can see on the left. So we start off by drawing a diameter and labelling two points on it, A and B, with A denoted by this weird squiggly line and B by this weird squiggly line. So, the arithmetic mean is the mean that most people are used to. It's just the sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers in a given set. So, no matter what numbers you pick, it could be A and B like this, or a small value for A and a big value for B, but no matter what it is, the mean of these, the arithmetic mean, is just the distance from the centre to the circumference on the circle. So, basically, it's just the radius. The distance is the radius and arithmetic mean will stay constant. The geometric mean, however, is a little bit different. So what we can start off by doing is dropping a chord from here, which intersects this diameter at right angles. And since this diameter bisects this chord, we can these two sides are equal, so we can label these as x. So once we've done that, we can go over and look to this diagram on the right, which, which states that angles in the same arc in the same segment are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle. So by the angle-angle-angle similarity, triangles AOD and BOC are similar. So what we can now do is find the ratios of corresponding sides, and so, and they will be equal to each other. So the ratio of d of from d to o, and o to c, will be equal to a to o, to o to b, as we can see here. So cross multiplying this, we obtain that d o multiplied by o b is equal to o c multiplied by a o. So we can use this fact and imagine, um, since I don't want to complicate this diagram too much that we drop lines from here to here and there to there. So their corresponding angles will be equal and we can apply this, which will show us that x multiplied by x will equal a multiplied by b, which we've got here. So x will equal the square root of ab. So that gives us the arithmetic mean is that the great that is greater than the geometric mean because we can see that from this point here, this x is not bigger than this radius here. The only time that the geometric mean is equal to the arithmetic mean, it can never be bigger, is when another diameter is drawn. So the x will be the same as the centre to the circumference, so they'll be equal. And that's the only time when the arithmetic mean will equal the geometric mean. So this next proof of the AMGM inequality is an algebraic one. So to start off with, we know that for any integer n, which is a member of the real numbers, n squared must be greater than or equal to zero. It's just a basic rule of arithmetic. And um, we can apply this same fact by taking two, num two real numbers, a and b, and subtracting b from a. And when we square that, that will also give an answer greater than or equal to zero. So how can we use this express this inequality to derive the arithmetic geometric mean inequality? Well, one way you might think is let's just start expanding brackets, and that's totally fine. So we get a squared minus two ab plus b squared is greater than or equal to zero just by applying the basic distributive property. And then you might think, right, well, we've got a minus 2ab, let's add 2ab, which we get a squared plus b squared is greater than or equal to 2ab, which looks fine. But then when we take the square root of both sides um, and divide the both sides by 2, 
we get this route too. Now this is a bit more, this is a bit difficult to deal with and seems to kind of hit a dead end. So, but there is a better way of doing this. So as before, we expand the bracket, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is greater than or equal to zero. But instead of uh, adding 2ab to both sides, we'll add a 4ab. So we'll get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is greater than or equal to 4ab. Now this looks more promising. From subtracting 2ab to both sides, we get to this stage, a squared plus b squared is greater than or equal to 2ab. And then we can just square root both sides and divide both sides by 2, and we get a plus b divided by 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of ab. So we've just derived um, the arithmetic geometric mean inequality and for two uh, real numbers, and there you go. So I would just like to go through a very quick example of where the AMGM inequality could be used to solve a quick problem. So, let A and B be positive real numbers such that they satisfy A plus 3B is equal to 1. We want to find the minimum value of 1 over A plus 1 over B. So let's just play around with the algebra and get a feel for the problem. Let's say, choose to multiply this expression by this expression. Now you might think, hang on, A plus 3B is equal to 1, so surely 1 times 1 over A plus 1 over B is just going to equal 1 over a plus 1 over b, since anything times, it's, anything times 1 is itself. And you would be totally correct. However, for the purpose of this, let's just see what would happen if we distribute this. So we would get 4 plus a over b plus 3b over a, if we could simplify it all. Um, and we can see, then, we can set up this equality such that 1 over a plus 1 over b is equal to 4 plus a over b plus 3b over a. Because a plus 3b is equal to 1. So essentially, we're just rewriting 1 over a plus 1 over b as that, seeing as it's essentially been multiplied by 1. So these two are basically two different ways of saying the same thing. So we can then use the AMGM inequality for two positive real numbers. However, we must notice that this 4 here is just a constant. So this won't change. The only thing that we're trying to find the minimum value of now is this little expression here. So just leave the 4 as a constant, and we have 4 plus a over b plus 3b over a is greater than or equal to 2 multiplied by the square root of a divided by b multiplied by b, 3b divided by a, plus the 4. So the next line of working, the left-hand side does not change. However, the right-hand side, underneath the radical, the a's and b's cancel, and we're just left with the root 3. So we know this equality states a relationship between 1 over a plus 1 over b being equal to 4 plus a over b plus 3b over a. So we can just replace this part with that part, and it shows the minimum value is, always, is uh, greater than or equal to 2 root 3 plus 4. And there we go. So thank you guys for watching till the end. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned a little bit. Um, and also thank you to Grant Sanderson for hosting this event. It's been really fun working on this, and um, it's good to reinforce stuff that you already have learned. So I hope this helps, and um, I look forward to making more YouTube videos explaining maths or physics topics in the future. Thanks, guys.